A man boarded an airplane and took his seat. As he settled in, he glanced up and saw the most beautiful woman boarding the plane. He soon realized she was heading straight toward his seat. As fate would have it, she took the seat right beside his. Eager to strike up a conversation, he blurted out, business trip or pleasure? She turned and smiled and said, business. I'm going to the annual Nymphomaniacs of America convention in Boston. <laughs> he swallowed hard. Here was the most gorgeous woman he had ever seen sitting next to him, and she was going to a meeting of nymphomaniacs. Struggling to maintain his composure, he calmly asked, what's your business at this convention lecture? I use the information that I've learned from my personal experiences to debunk some of the popular myths about sexuality. Really, he said, and what kind of myths are there? Well, one popular myth is that African-American men are the most well-endowed of all men. I've heard that. When in fact, it is the Native American Indian who is most likely to possess that trait. Hmm. Another popular myth is that Frenchmen are the best lovers when actually it is men of Jewish descent who are the best. I have also discovered that the lover with the absolutely the best stanima is the Southern redneck. Suddenly the woman became a little uncomfortable and blushed. I'm sorry, she said. I shouldn't really be discussing all this with, with you. I don't even know your name. Tonto, the man said. Tonto Goldstein, but my friends called me Bubba. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, David Zerby, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll clap for myself. Now listen, my girlfriend's mad at me right now. Last night when we were having sex, I yelled the name of her ex-boyfriend. Nice fellow. <laughs> oh, I love the. Nice fellow.